Good morning. How about some coffee? Man. Ah, yum. Uh, we're going to do comments. We're going to do indomitable spirit comments. Um, and uh, I, this Pennsylvania TV, whose uh, comments are on the top at the moment, uh, wrote me three times. Um, he said, uh, you're 100% right. How are you doing? Uh, and uh, I think he wrote on my main page. Uh, I think he wrote something like cold. I'm not so sure. Um, but you know, when someone has a name like Pennsylvania TV, I don't think of uh, my impression of that name is that it's not like a really a person. It's more of a, th a thing. Uh, the person's if it might be a person doing a thing, uh, like promoting Pennsylvania or, or something to that nature. I don't know. But you know, if it was like Joe the Thunder God or something like that, I'd be like, "Hey, Joe, man, it must be great to be a Thunder God." But it's Pennsylvania TV. I don't know. If, I don't know if you're going to be a person. I don't know if we're going to chat. So I guess I guess we'll, I'll find out. Hmm. Yamakaiba, uh, Yamakaiba, you, you complimented the scenery, and uh, I wish I would have been more aware of it. I mean, I was pretty astounded by it. I kind of walked into that forest um, with indomitable spirit on my mind, and only as I walked up to the, uh, that one little peak did it, it fully kind of register that as I walked, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm totally surrounded with mist. Like, mist is right up against my face, um, but it's it doesn't take up that much of the air, you know, as far as percentage-wise goes. But as you look further and further away, uh, the, it starts to add up until you're looking at like a solid sheet of white about like 50 feet back. Um, so as I, I started to walk, I started getting the sensation of being followed or uh, surrounded by a circle, so a clearing, uh, surrounded by a wall of mist. It was just, that was just a great spot. I went back there, uh, on the motor scooter to go farther around the forest to look for other points of entry. And I uh, saw a deer uh, browsing right there. It was a beautiful spot. And uh, Mr. Ruger, you, you liked it as well. Yeah, you're, Mr. Ruger is a big outdoors guy. Uh, Machete, uh, thank you for taking a moment out of watching uh, Big Booty videos uh, to watch a video of the Earl. Um, if, you know, if... <laughs> I have half a mind, actually, to every 10 seconds or go flash a big booty uh, on my video. I mean, like, like uh, let's, let, we should all adopt that uh, advertiser thing. If we all adopted that advertiser thing, like if I wore t-shirts with, like, big booty on it and uh, my baseball cap had two big breasts on it, like, uh, if we all walked around as, like, billboards, sexual billboards, advertisers would be like, I don't know, selling sex is so last year. You know, maybe they'd take their hands out of our pants. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have had a cup of coffee before I did this video. Mmm, lion, dog, frog. Uh, nice words of wisdom, uh, you say. And uh, I was, I'll, someone else, uh, well, I'll do Dev's comment as well. Um, Dev's like, sometimes I don't know what you're talking about. And, uh, cause a lot of times I'm, I'm really talking to myself. Um, cause I was thinking about that before I did it. Like I've thought about a nominal spirit several times in my life. Um, it's pros and cons and different aspects I've seen in others and, um, how I want that to manifest itself in me. Um, so I just thought I'd like, you know, check in right now with how I felt about it, um, but then as I, I re-watched it after I read uh, Dev's comment, I re-watched it and I saw that like sometimes my, my chain of thought, my stream of consciousness is a little bit difficult to follow. So I thought I would try to be like, you know, non-specific sp specific in the future. Because I don't know, maybe a year from now I'll re-watch that and think, what was I talking about? <laughs> uh, Lala, um, oh, Lala, what did you say? Uh, you said, I'm not so good about uh, putting people into categories, uh, either putting or being put into categories. Um, so I was thinking about this, because this has come up before, like uh, Girly Voice said this about, uh, sometimes I think about rules of conduct, uh, you know, uh, aspects of personality of saying, like, so-and-so is bold, and such-and-such -and -such is shy, and... Um, 
so and so is uh, devious. Um, I think that it kind of reminds me of like uh, all that I've read about uh, witchcraft and uh, all the, the the rituals or witchcraft or astronomy, uh, all these different things that are like tools of thought. Like you know, the stars mean this, or these cards mean that, or sitting around uh, chanting uh, to to cast a spell on your future so you'll have a good career. Um, pretty much just it, it me symbolizes that you bring those things into uh, is your main focus. Like your spell actually is just keeping this thing in your mind. Like you every day you do this spell about your career. And what that means is every day you're thinking about your career. Uh, same thing with uh, astronomy. It says like now, now is a good time to... Uh, uh, to make allies, and so suddenly you just become really conscious of like the people at your job that uh, um, that you work well with, and that you feel that together you could um, you know advance uh, projects and thus advance yourself and them. So when I think of indomitable spirit uh, and the people that have it, and like someone with it or without it, or a false sense of it, um, basically it's just a big blunt tool to mash about thoughts and um, come up with, you know, things like, you know, like spirit and honesty and perseverance and uh, kindness and acceptance uh, and uh, ego and pride uh, and how all those things mesh together so that you feel strongly in yourself about your ability to find the right thing, and, but not, uh, not in a fake way so you steamroll over anything else that might be able to help you. Mm. Uh, glitch 777 um, and that's kind of what you said Glitch about um, uh, where did you say it uh, there are going to be some people that just don't like you because you're talking about like they see it as arrogance um, that you're better than them and every I mean that's a thing about like using like words like indomitable spirit to help look inside you and to see and and shine light on like, do I feel strongly about myself, or do I have to feel strongly about myself? You know, um, if something pops up that makes me f seem or feel or think that I'm just deeply mistaken, or I've just totally gone the wrong way, now I have to go all the way back, and now I have to go the right way, and that makes me feel like, these negative things. Like indomitable spirit um, wouldn't make you feel bad about it. You know, like indomitable spirits like. Um, there's no going back. It's turning your feet around and going forward again. Um, you're going forward backwards. Um, so, like, a kind of indomitable spirit that, like, just kind of insists that, well, I must be right, and I haven't made a mistake, and this person's making me feel like they're better than me. Um, like, that's a light that shines into those people that says it's, uh, God, that they, they need to look inside. Um, the whole idea of like being concerned that you think someone else thinks they're better than you or anything like that, I can't imagine taking any time, time that time that you spent thinking like those things that you know that a person would spend like this person thinks they're better than me, is time that could be spent making some delicious coffee and sitting down and just thinking about what's going on in your heart and your soul and feeling the warmth fill you and just you know. Stop thinking about things that uh, don't have anything to do with you. No one's better than anyone else. <laughs> I mean, this is the thing is like, you know, someone uh, I I might get on a basketball ball court and uh, absolutely everybody's going to make more more hoops. Uh, they will score goals. They will make their free throws uh, more than I. And at no point in time will I think all these people are better than me. <laughs> Oh, silliness. Timinator, uh, I need teaching. Can you show me? Oh. No, you'd have to show yourself. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to teach myself. So if you, uh, if you wanna, uh, if you wanna sit in my class while I try to, uh, you know, guide my own uh, mind and spirit to a place where uh, I'm calm mostly and kind mostly, um, yeah, you're welcome to come along. Oh, Mr. Uh, when I say Dev, I mean uh, Mr. TCB40. 
Uh, that's who I'm talking about with Deb. Deb's like, I don't know, I don't know half the stuff you're saying. Good point, Deb. I'm just saying, indomitable spirit is uh, about believing in yourself, and even if you make mistakes or you you learn more from somebody else than you do from yourself, then your indomitable spirit remains intact. Like you're strong in yourself to such a degree that you might recognize that you're weak, or might recognize the benefit of somebody else's insight or ability. Um, indomitable spirit doesn't mean like, well, I just I must have to have more insight than this person or more ability. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. You can feel really strongly in yourself and, and recognize the strength and power of others and how that could help you and benefit you. And um, Yeah, so indomitable spirit doesn't mean that uh, that just because you believe that you're, uh, believe in yourself doesn't mean that you then steamroll over anything that says to the contrary. And you're actually probably even more aware of um, anything to the contrary that says you are not... Um, you know, all powerful, all knowing, or, or all strong. You know, it's uh, you know, having that kind of spirit means you're aware that you're strong and you're weak and you're smart, and you're stupid, and uh, you're brave and you're you're a coward. And that makes you human, and that makes you awesome. Oh, and uh, uh, gadget tips, uh, um, Your your comments are just so. I will say it again, I wish that you would uh, do more videos. Uh, you did that one video where you talked about how, how uh, going through bodily pain could be transferred into like a, a mental source of energy. Um, that way you're not, you know, you don't feel like you're suffering. You feel like you think of pain as actually another kind of uh, impulse. You kind of take away the, you take away the pain by redirecting it, I guess. That was, that was such a cool video. Uh, but you talk about like you know, um, uh, in, you know, in the inflexibility, uh, the fanatic uh, nature. Like that's the thing about like indomitable spirit shouldn't feel like a uh, a rock wall um, to yourself or to others. Um, should feel like a bamboo forest or something like that. Or it should feel like a uh, moss across the ground. You know, it's like uh, all encompassing, uh, uh, soft and. Uh, uh, contouring itself to the shape of, of, of things, uh, not really uh, um, trying to uh, not really trying to uh, change, but to, uh, to to grab and adapt and understand and and to be a part of. Mm. Ken Hector says, "Don't mistake passion for knowledge." That's the, that's the thing. Like passion uh, is a tool for uh, for searching for knowledge. Um, the, uh, I was this person's come and talked to me like six or seven times, and I almost actually wanted to um, take them aside and ask them more questions because I didn't fully understand what's going on for them. But the thing is about uh, shortwave radio. I mentioned uh, that I like shortwave radio to somebody, and I'm really excited about it. But I just got involved, um, and so with like say like 30 minutes work, reading the manual, doing some online research, checking it out on YouTube, like 30 minutes work. Um, this person thinks I know everything about shortwave radio, thinks that I may have invented it. Um, and they keep coming to me with problems. And uh, I keep just kind of referring them to like their instruction book, to YouTube, uh, to the site, uh, Grundig, uh, is where uh, they got their radio. Um, but I think they think because I'm really, really passionate, uh, I know all about it. Um, so I almost kind of want to just let them know that I really i have only done a tiny bit of research. I've done a lot of playing, infinite playing with a dial. Um, that's a thing like you just hour after hour of checking it like you know, from you know one in the morning to four in the morning uh, listening for uh, radio broadcasts from somewhere in the globe. It's exciting. Oh, oh, uh, Rog, you talk about uh, people thumbing down my video. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> they can do that all they like. It's a silly thing, though, but, uh, I mean, I guess it's almost silly that that thing's there. Um, except for as, like, Rog as you like it, and you thumb it up, someone's like, oh, I know Rog, and Rog like this, I'll give this a listen. Um, there's a YouTuber that I really liked, uh, Redbeard Saraceno, uh, he vanished, and then I saw someone like up his new channel, um, uh, Chief Keeps Mouth Shut, I think is what it's called now, um, and I wouldn't have found that if it wasn't for the, the thumbs up, so, um. 
Yeah, so I guess it has its uses. As far as thumbing down, it doesn't uh, doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me at all. I think it's amusing. Uh, Shmumpkin, actually, Shmumpkin, uh, you said, uh, let's see here. Um, I like to think that I have indomitable spirit, and uh, I, you were one of the people I was thinking about when I was thinking about indomitable spirit. Uh, um, your kind confidence, uh, I consider an uh, indomitable spirit. Um, the the your uh, careful thoughts and uh, your your focus goals like the things you bring up on a regular basis um, the more I see all your videos uh, the more I see their direction um, the I get the greater a greater uh, idea of the scope of your focus um, and uh, it's I think it's important and like. You know what goes on in your mind, where you direct your attention, um, defines. You know what I see, uh, what and what I think about. When I, it reflects back in my mind, and so it's important. Uh, you know what I put there. And, um, different people. I mean, you know, some people, Shemumpkin, that uh, um, talk about some upsetting things and are upset, and uh, they're talking about the truth, and. If I see a, lot, a vast majority, a seemingly vast majority of their focus going to these things, and I think that sometimes, like those things, need to be considered. But it almost makes me think that uh, if you're gonna do five videos about uh, you know death, you need to do five videos about life um, or birth. Um, it's important what you put in your mind, and. Uh, Say you decided not to. Say you decided, do I want to do uh, ten videos about birth? Um, I think that would be better off overall than doing ten videos about uh, about death. Um, and and not, I mean, like I guess uh, I mean when I say that, I mean like for like doing ten videos on positive rather than ten videos on negative, because I don't necessarily see death as a negative thing. Uh, so that was a bad example. Drink coffee. Yeah, but uh, I would say for certain that you have excellent indomitable spirit, the kind of indomitable spirit I want in me, Schmumpkin. Uh, I think that was all the comments. Um, if I skipped any, uh, it's because uh, it's because of my mobile device. <laughs> so bring it up, bring it up with Mr. Badass Andy. <laughs> he handles my complaints from now on. All right, I'll see you in the tubes. Thanks for your comments.